my hand, I'll help you up. Private Wyatt, good kid. I'm sure you'll return the favor, sir, and then some. Here. Pay attention, beer boys. This is all turned from a goose hunt to a stick-up job. And behind us now is a second pillar of the German army. What are you doing here, Captain Master? Private gate, sirs. Important for duty. Well, crazy and dedicated. Welcome to the war. Take over, Private. Now, General Death's head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. Some nasty wounds you've got there, Private. Be sure to mind that bleed. We eliminate the General, we cut the head off the crowd war machine. If we don't, they're gonna have us for breakfast. Uh, you all right there, kid? Sir, my eyes are watering, and I think I'm gonna be sick. Is this normal? It's just nurse. Let me teach you a trick. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Count to four. All there is to it. We're having our ass tanned by some Nazi mutant fucking Frankenstein. So we ready then, lads? This time, we get the job done. Now let's go. Let's move it on. Go. Are you lazy or we roasted? This is a war, not a fucking Sunday church walk. Come on. A good team. Like father and son. Climb up this wall, get inside, locate the control room for this big fucking door and open it for us. You see any Nazi firearms, you take them. Bound to be better than ours. The rest of us will come here from down here. Now, once the door's open, we get inside, we work our way up through the building, we meet up again on the top floors, we find Death's head, and we shoot him in the head. Check, check. No pressure, lads. But keep in mind, this may be our last chance. We don't get Death's Head now. It is all over. Now climb. Focus up. Where are you climb? Over here! Right. Protect the lads on the wall. Covering fire! <laughs> Such a cool sequence. Oh shit. They actually... They actually die. God, look at this place. Is this is this Castle Wolfenstein or something? That's the only uh that's the only Wolfenstein game I've really played, by the way, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. So I don't have that much experience with the the franchise. Is this, is this a secret? What is this? <laughs> oh, 
No, I guess not. Ooh, Commander. Well. Oh, there's another another Commander? Might want to be a little bit stealthy here. X? Yeah, X to... No, wait. I thought it was X to switch... No, it's Q. Q switches back between the last two used weapons. X switches to dual wield, right. Well, the alarm's going off, so I guess there's no point in being stealthy, huh? Jesus. Wow, oh, that grenade did nothing. Also, that took like all my health. Kill the commander. Oh, I think they're in here. Yes. <laughs> gold chalice. Nazi gold. I'm pretty sure you can even eat dog food to get a little bit of health back. I think that's been a thing for the whole history of Wolfenstein. wanted a slide kill. They're like half dead. Ooh, they can shoot you from that position. I wonder if they get back up. Just a reminder, what kind of perks am I looking for? Just a bunch of headshots, okay. Overcharge your health to reach 200? Hmm. Kill from cover using handgun. Increases the handgun's magazine size. That's one of those things that's like, do I really need a bigger handgun magazine size? Because... Preferably, I wouldn't use it very often. Kills from cover using assault rifle, primary fire. I've got surprisingly little of those. I should stay in cover more. And increase the magazine size of it, which would be pretty damn good. So what counts as cover exactly? Oof. Like, so it looks like you don't only pop up from a box, for example. When you uh, go to right-click, it automatically, like, pops you up. But also, if you're behind a wall like this, it'll automatically just pop you out to whatever side is convenient. It's pretty cool. But it also kind of means there's almost no reason to use the whole alt, down, right, left thing. Like, when would I ever want to just shoot people's feet, <laughs> other than that one time that I had to? To commission a portrait in service of your ego, General, you waste your paint. Can't even blow it up. 
Nazis have invented indestructible paintings, apparently. Along with mecha dogs. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, I just ate some dog food. Damn, I thought they died in one hit. Um, I'm assuming enemies can find bodies and that will alert them. Let's try a little bit of stealth, change things up. What perk did I get exactly? Oh, it was the Scout 1. Stealth killing commanders will add interest points to the current map. Displays on-screen commander intel. Hmm. So that's unlocked uh, the ability to throw knives. Well, it's unlocked the ability for me to get the ability to throw knives at a target. I need five silent takedowns. Um, handgun damage increased. Just stealth kills using the handgun. Just more commander stealth kills for this one. Displays commanders on the map. Hmm. <laughs> Just ate the whole table. And some dog food. Dessert. I didn't think that grenade would do anything, just thought it'd be fun. It's expecting it to bounce off to the ground. machine gun, I guess? Ooh, I can't move this very much side to side. Let's detach it. Fumbling. Oh, nope, attach it. Let's leave it on here. Some 
very fine Nazi kill in there, sir. Good work, Captain. Right. Everybody head for the crashed aircraft. Blazkowicz, we'll meet you there. Thank you, Captain Blazkowicz, sir. Move it, son. Ugh. Was it just killed by somebody by hand? Or did <laughs> some gun or something shoot that? Nah, no way. Must have been by hand. Or maybe just a piece of shrapnel, I guess. Troop transport. More dead kids. Seen this too many times. Can't move this beam from our position. We're trapped up here, Blazkowicz. See if you can remove this beam from your possession. Sir, maybe you can use this to pry it loose. Come on, lads. Scream for Yes, sir. You believe it, Prince Ross? Go in I reckon you boys better jump. You first, Wyatt. Go to church every Sunday? Yeah, what, you ain't got churches in England? You ain't got no priests there? Yeah. Well, the Nazis are sort of, sort of bombing them at the moment, so it's a bit of a problem. Edward, Blondie, you're up! Come along, Blazkowicz! I've got you! God, if that hits you in the head, you'd be dead. A chunk of rock probably weighed a couple hundred pounds. What a fucking circus! My feet are broken. What is this place? Yeah, Nazi uh, experiment lab. Wyatt, see if you can find a way to open that door. Move it. See this pipe coming from that control box over there. What is it? Oh, come on. Yeah. What did you just talk to? I'm sorry, I thought it was for the door. Turn it off, turn it off. Wait, shit! Come on! Come on! Come on. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. There's a keyhole. Blaskowitz, find the key! It's starting! Maybe even the doors, Captain! Hurry, Blasco! Get the key get back in and open this fucking thing! Fuck! Where are the fuck? Get over here and open this thing! Get over here and open this thing! Hey, what's all this then? Chunky. Everybody still breathing? Affirmative. The incinerators are off. Any way to get that door open? I rather fancy leaving the monster up. Got a wall open from this side. Hold on. I can hear someone out there. Someone's coming. Captain Blaskowitz, sir, come listen to this. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. I think this may be it, mate. Yeah, I'm talking about that! Just 
Rabbi Oldie has some private as war. People die. You have lives no more brushes in the next class master like you. A trench somewhere. Fuck, I'm done this. What are you people doing in there? My people murdered so many times. I lost count. So long since I practiced my English. Oh, it's a dying tongue. You? I've seen you before. Oh, I like you. Such a resilient specimen. With you, I could do great things. <sighs> oh, I like the eyes on this one. Don't you forget to him. Not this one. Somebody broke it already. It's a shame. <sighs> Captain Blaskovic. Help me make a choice. In your opinion, which one of these two varieties would best support my research? I have inadequate room for samples. Should you decline my opinion, I shall have to put a scalpel to both of them and we'll be here all day. I make matters simple. All you need to do is look to the one you would have me dissect. <laughs> Okay, so, um, there's no way around this, by the way. You do have to choose somebody, and yeah, they do die. Horribly. I'm pretty sure who you decide to leave alive and who to dissect influences some stuff in the story. So just because I've already seen a playthrough of this and I want to see what's different if I choose the other option, um, I'm going to have Captain... Captain? Is it Captain? So whatever Death's Head uh, dissect the person on the right. I forgot their name, but they're the one that's been talking to us most of the time. They're the one that we know the most, which is probably why most people would leave him alive. And that's what happened in the playthrough that I watched. He was left alive. The other person on the left was dissected. So this time I'm going to try dissecting the character I like more, <laughs> which is sad, but it'll be more interesting for me. Go on, Captain, make a choice for me. Fergus, that's a name. Sorry, Fergus. Really? This one. I would have elected other, but I will defer to your preference, Captain Blaskovitz. So okay, Blasko. I saw all. People die. My time's up, is up. <laughs> New timeline, Wyatt. You unlock the Wyatt timeline. This will allow you to access additional areas through the lockpicking skill. You can also find special armor upgrades. 
Each upgrade will increase armor points gained from all armor pickups by 10%. Yeah, the other way gave you another special ability. Not lockpicking, of course. It was, well, if you choose to leave Fergus alive, it's like some electronic thing, I think, that you can do. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. Yes, follow my lead. So, hold on, what do I do? Press mouse 1, move the mouse left and right to rotate the outer disc of the lock, keep the outer disc aligned with the pinholes to raise the pins, and pick the lock. I don't think I've absorbed that just yet, but let's try it. Oh, I see. Okay. Się. Co masz? Zaufaj mi, mamo. Po prostu Ach, twoja córka ma tajemniczą moc. Ta twoja córka, ja tam się przy niej wiele nie napracowałem. Za to! Strange sensation. Trapped in my body. My black 
out. I'm losing time. Sometimes the seasons change in the blink of an eye. I'm having trouble with my thoughts. They dissipate like a scent on the wind. But it's getting better. Here's what I know. I'm in Poland. A hospital? No. An insane asylum. She's the head nurse. That's her father. Shrink. And her mother. Some type of pharmacist. They run the place, I reckon. Sometimes Christmas. Sometimes birthdays. And sometimes Nazis come. And they leave with patients in shackles. Like it's Death's Head's personal candy store. And the shrink raises hell and all, but in the end he signs. No choice, I suppose. And I've seen all this. Good folks made powerless. I'm alive because of these people. I'm getting better. Because of her. Her name is Anya. She takes good care of me. She takes care of everyone. She holds this place together. We're supposed to be married by now, but it hasn't happened. Wir schließen diese Einrichtung. Ihre Dienste werden nicht länger benötigt. Na, kein Grund, rührselig zu werden, Doktor. Sie haben zufriedenstellende Arbeit geleistet. Weitermachen! Eine Frau! New weapon handgun 1960. An improved version of the 1946 handgun updated with a burst shot primary mode and a recoil compensator system. Useful when engaging light armored enemies at close ranges. Oh, right, because so much time has passed. No one should be made to die like this. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I think we're pretty much through, I guess we could consider the prologue at this point. I was 99% sure I would enjoy playing this game even more than I enjoyed watching it, and I was right. It's really fun to play. I love it. Uh, I'll talk more about some of the, the themes in the game and the humanity and the surprising aspects of it that I was mentioning at the start um, as we get further into the game. For now, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.